come because they love you and because they want to yeah. watch you. When you're sitting down in a room full of six people and each one, their job is to just judge everything you do. Find the little small mistake. Exactly. Like my Achilles heel is my fear and my yeah, lack of confidence in myself. But you will learn to overcome this, don't worry. So yeah, like that's why to me, like last time it took, it took some time to open up and it took some time to realize what was wrong with me. This time it's simple and it's clear. You know what I mean? It's not... You're comfortable this time. Exactly. And just like last time you were like, don't cry over spilled milk, fine. I'm not going to cry over spilled milk, but next time I'm going to know, I'm going to watch my step, Definitely. basically. Definitely. So f now it's more, last time it was kind of a shock and everything. This time it's fine. It's just an eye opener, which I think is good. It'll be good if you know how to use it. Yeah. If That's you know the challenge. If you explode on that stage, that, it'll be good. But if you come into the stage tonight, and not feeling very well, it's going to But show. see, that's my problem, that on stage, like, no one has to worry about me. It's up. over here that, that I worry about myself. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, me too. Like, on stage, just put me on stage, give me a song I don't know, and I'll find a way to deal with it. Yeah. But it's over here that, that it's uh, over yeah, here what that. I have to overcome. I very much. So, yeah. So, but other than that, I'm good. Honestly. Like, I know how to deal with it this time. So, yeah. I agree with you. I told you exactly what I think this time affected you a lot, and uh, it affected you, not your performance, but it did affect you as a person. And you With George, it opened my eyes you, like you crazy. Learned. Exactly. Everything is an eye opener. You learn. My problem is uh, I like to keep myself in my own little bubble so I don't see the, the wrong things around me. But that's, that's not a that's good way. That's not to a good way to do it. So right. this time, without meaning to. Your bubble was bursted. Without meaning to, I was just thrown into everything, thrown yeah, into everything, and I saw things. No exactly. So it was kind of, it was kind of good. So now, because I have a problem that things happen around me, and then people come to me, they're like, "Oh, didn't you realize this and this and this?" I and I'm agree. like, "No," because I mean, I can be like, I can be sitting with you. You're being blindsided. Constantly. Exactly. I can be sitting with you. I can talk to you so normally. I can turn around. You can say whatever you want about me, and I'll still, I'll walk. I'll go I my own way. Yeah. Exactly. Because I don't like to pay attention to these things. I don't like to, to put to myself in these positions. You need to pay attention a little positions. bit more to detail. It's very important. Because you learn every day from something new. I think the experience of the closest people to you to... Uh, Leaving? To leave <laughs> was, was, was major. It was. Was major. It was good, though. Like it was impacty, but it's going to help you a lot. And, and, and the good thing about it as well is that I got... Uh, I like to sit down on my own and write. I love it, honestly. The fact that I got pushed to do it made me see things in a completely different perspective because for me it's my therapy like honestly and it's literally my therapy because you were much more nervous last week last see, time. I noticed things your hands your eyes twitching what you do how you touch your face how you touch your hair Today you're very good <laughs> I'm you, good uh, that's what I look for I look for things and to I'm see happy that I'm good that's you are and how twitched you are exactly you're very good today you're but the thing natural. is I think the thing that's affecting my mood is that I'm happy that I'm okay you know what I mean? You like, should be happy that you're okay, but you have to not forget that you might not be back here on Saturday. I know. And you need to go up on stage thinking about this. On Friday, when you get up on the stage, you need to think that you might not come back. So and I have to show everyone what I have. When you use this, it gives you strength to come back. But if you're, gonna, if you're just not going to think about it, I'm not going to see you on Saturday. I'd like to see you Saturday morning. I'd really like would. to see you Saturday morning, too. I would like to see you on Saturday. My dad is very proud of me because of your classes, by the way. You're working well. I'm very proud of you. Extremely yourself. proud. Like, like crazy. Like. <laughs> That's nice. But, um, but, yeah. Like, I know, like, I'm thinking the way you're thinking. Just because I mentioned one part doesn't mean I don't think about the other part. That I know, like, for the past, how long have we been here? For the past two months, every time someone gets nominated, the one thing I say to them is prove to everyone on Friday that you're worth it and that you're worth coming back. That's and right. I said that to myself. That's right. But like right now, right now, even though everyone's back and all this and all that, if you feel like you need this hour to go sit and brainstorm, you know what brainstorm is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would go do it. I'd ask everyone, you know, like, please give me like, I need an hour or so and go brainstorm. Go brainstorm and read what you've written and think what are, what's coming up into your head and go from there. That's that's what I'm planning Because if that's what makes you feel good, do it. Don't go now and forget 
something very important that you found that which was the brainstorming which was helping you a lot yeah you understand you need to pretty much I'd say find yourself find myself exactly I know it's a bit difficult though because now you know you're 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 you're, you're rocking on the balance mm -hmm. right now because you used to see things totally different and now without having your close friends with you you saw things much different and you saw how people saw you and how now you understand what I'm yeah, trying to say totally. now how they see you you need to really and truly at this point calculate a lot of things because you know that if you don't come back by the people your friends bring you back that's true but I, I kind that of is a, that, that is a weapon that is a weapon that's your true. friends now are a weapon to come back don't only depend on coming back from the voting yeah. of the public you have to know that your friends are definitely a weapon and it's a weapon that's going to make you stronger okay yeah. I'll call you back in the end you come out now for okay. a second I'll call you back when I bring everyone back together okay thank you you're most welcome bring me Zahir Zahir <laughs> Zahir <laughs> it's okay it's okay يا انا قلت لكم قبل اليوم وفهمتكم انه شو الوضع وليش انت جيت لهون وصعب كثير وصلت لهون وكذا كذا كذا انت عندك مشكله كبيره هلا جديده هي ما بعرف شو عم تعمل بصوتك مش انا ثاني مش عارف ايه ما بعرف شو عم تعمل بصوتك والله وحياس الله ولا نهار حكيتني مثل ما حكيتني اول جمعتين مثل خلص ما بعرف شو صار بصوتك كانه خوف كانه أنا حكوا لي إياها اللجنة حكت لي إياها أنا أنا خليتك هون لوحدك لما بدي أحلل معك هالشغلة عم بجرب أنا أحلل شو صار بصوتك ولا شيء ما في صوتي ما فيه شيء بصوت بلا عندك عندك شيء في عندك شيء أنا بحكي لك شو أوكي باللي يعني حكى لي إياها مسيو فؤاد إنه حكى لي إياها أنا بكون مبسوط منك على المسرح بحب أسمعك بس بالإيفال تتغير إيه شو بيصير؟ ما بعرف خوف خوف الخوف هو الخوف يعني اوكي احنا ما بنخاف على المسرح بنخاف بس مش الخوف اللي بنخافه بالايفال الايفال لانه امتحان ايفال ضغط بس هو كيف انت فيك تتصرف او تطلع من الضغط هذا هو اللي. العكس الحمد لله مدام ماري حكت انه كان في صوت ببعها راحت اه يعني اه تمام الحمد لله ما في شيء بس انه احنا يوم نصل مشكلتنا احنا الايفال جورج مش انه اصواتنا دار بالعكس دار اصواتنا كنا بتجنن بس الايفال احنا الايفال يعني يوم نصل الايفال نتغير والله الايفال ضغط 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 رايح واحد على فحص يعني صعب بالعكس انا راضي والله راضي ما بتحب ترجع لا بالعكس بحب بحب ترجع بس انه راضي لانه وصلنا لهالمواصيل ايه بس بدك تبرهن لنا انه بتحب ترجع مين مين ما مين ما بحب يرجع هلا في ناس بيقولوا ما بحب يرجع لا انا منه دم... علي لا بدهم ما بحب يرجع لسه عندي طمعان مش انه طمعان طمع بس انه حاب اشتغل حاب اشتغل ومصر. يعني مبسوط اكيد تعلم وهيك وكذا وبعد بركي تاخذ لك بعد شيء شوية وزن عندي انا اللي بعد شوية عضل بيلقط وبحافظ على حالك ما تخسرهم عضلي لا لا تعلم شو علمك بالعكس الحمد لله والله العظيم مبسوط وحاب ارجع واشتغل وانا وعدت وعدت الكل انه رجعت واشتغلت بس انه خلص قصرنا شوي انت بتعرف شو الغلط اللي عملته؟ لا انا بقول أنا قول انه مش غلط انت عامله هو غلط اجى عليك لوحده هو حماس وراح نسافر وراح نجي وراح نروح وضغط وجينا من السفر وطلعنا ونزلنا نسيت حالي شوي شوي ايه شوي بتضيع تركيزك which is normal طبيعي ليش بتسافر اصلا؟ لانه بالحياه هيك ما راح فيك عطول تشتغل 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 بدنا نشوف شو راح يصير معكم اذا رحتوا جمعتين فيكيشن ومش عارفكم تشتغلوا انه بدك تتعلم تشتغل بكل الاجواء بكل الـ بكل ال الانفايرمنتس ما بعرف شو اقول انفايرمنتس بكل ال انفايرمنتس يعني بكل الاجواء اللي انت فيها بدك تعمل تشتغل مظبوط انتوا عم تنبسط انتوا عم تتسبح انتوا عم تاكل بيتزا لا بتعلم على طول انه نحن 
بتعلم السؤال كان بيشتغل على كل الاصعده تاني 